Hey there all craft beer lovers. Yeah, it's time for that beer review once again. So, we got a nice one on the table tonight, guys. We're returning to Germany, to uh, Brauerei Heller Brautrum, otherwise known as Schenkerla Brewery. We have another one in the series of beers from these guys, from the, in the Echt Schenkerla Rauchbier series. This is their Fastenbier or Lent beer. Coming in at a lovely 5.9% ABV. There you go, in a 500ml bottle. Lent beer. There you go. So a lot of nice history back there and uh, information. Uh, fasting was already being practiced by the Romans in ancient times. The Christians adapted this ritual as a 40-day preparation for the Easter celebration. According to the principle liquida non frangunt ienium, liquids do not break the fast, the monks in the Middle Age monasteries prepared a richer and more complex beer for the time of Lent. Following this tradition, Schlenkerla Lent beer is brewed with a blend of non-smoked pale malt and Schlenkerla smoked malt. Serve unfiltered and with a higher malt concentration than the classic Mertzen smoked beer. It has the Brotzeit, German for afternoon snack, already included, just as the monks would have savored it in the past. There you go, lovely looking uh, colors. The purple, of course, is color of Lent. There you go, Lent beer. There's the cap, guys. Yep, yeah, there you go. Right. Without any further ado, let's pop the top. Oh, good deal of smoke. And this beer is going out. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look pretty? Yeah, I think it does. All right. Get it. All right. Nice big head on that one. So we do have a little bit more beer left in the bottle there all right so what do we have four basically four fingers worth of a very very nice looking kind of off-white colored head i would say uh the beer well yeah almost yeah so almost like a little bit of blood red there amber reddish color to it good head on that beer looks very very presentable doesn't it let's get the aroma Oh, smells very malty indeed. Yeah, it's definitely that lovely smoked malt character. But it's more, I mean, it's slightly subtle actually. I mean, it's definitely there, but it's quite subtle. It's not that smack in the face uh, like some, uh, uh, some of their other beers. Do, they do have that smack in the face smoky note. This one is a little bit more subtle, but it's still there. Yeah, smoky, malty. Yeah. Oh yeah. But that's basically what you get. So, with that said, let's dive in, see what we get then. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Mm. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Mm. Oh, so I would say there's a lot of bitterness in this one. It's quite bitter. Quite bitter, actually. High on bitterness, but it's also slightly more subtle than the other, uh, the other ones uh, in the series. Let's go for another one right away. Mmm. So it's still quite malt forward, dried fruit, slight smokiness, and a very, very long, lingering, uh, bitter aftertaste to it. Actually, there we go. Let's pour the rest of that beer out. So I think we got, well, basically almost everything in there. Now we got everything in there. All right. So. So, yeah, uh, what can I say, guys? Uh, Ash Klinkela Rauch beer, Lent beer or Fasten beer, not bad. Final sip and a final evaluation. So, 
very malt forward, of course, dried fruits, slight smoky notes, but very, ever so subtle actually. And a very, very long bitter aftertaste to it. Very, very prolonged uh, bitterness, lingering pronounced bitterness there but if that's your poison you will definitely like this one uh, for me i do prefer uh to be fair i do prefer the the more smoky ones uh in the series but this is not bad not bad at all good kind of uh robust beer uh 3.75 out of 5 thank you for watching